Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jenny. How are you? I'm fine. I'm a little tired too. <laughs> How about you? Really? Yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Did you have a hard day at work? Yes, very hard. I'm sorry to hear that, but well, um, the, the good thing is that it's finished. The day is finished, and um, you will have uh, a chance to relax a little bit at night. And um, hopefully, tomorrow will be a better day, right? Yes. Yeah. Hello, Juan, Juan Carlos, Glenda. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very well, thank you. Good evening, good evening, Leticia. Hello, Juan Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How, how, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I can't complain. <laughs> okay. And uh, welcome, Abigail. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Well, not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, happy to be with you, uh, you guys again. Uh, okay. So, um, are you are you guys cold? Because to yesterday and today has been a very windy and cold um, day. Um, well. The day has been mostly windy, not so much cold, but but tonight it's not, it feels a little bit colder. Um, how 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 is the weather by your house? I live in San Miguel. It's hot. It's um, a little windy, windy, viento, but it's very hot. Did you all say? day or night. Sorry, Jenny, did you say that it was windy? Yes, windy is viento, verdad? Correct, yes. Okay, um, what is the temperature like in San Miel in this moment? 30, 34, 35. Wow. That that is with wind and everything. It's thirty four, thirty five, and and normally like like normally what time what what's the temperature like? Uh, thirty seven, thirty eight, but feel forty. Se siente como cuarenta. It's really really hot. <laughs> wow, I admire you. You can stand that heat. I, I definitely would not be able to stand that heat. I, I I love I love the sun, uh, but not 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 the the high temperature. No. What about the rest of you? Uh, where do you live? How is the weather in your house? In Santa Tecla, is a delicious cool weather. Delicious, delicious. <laughs> Okay, um, and and uh, what what um, yeah. So right now it's very windy in in Santa Tecla. The the microphone, Leticia. Excuse me. Excuse me, teacher. Um, okay. 
in Santa Tecla City. We, did, we are at a uh, uh, 17 degrees. 17 degrees y, uh, at night. Um, bueno, se espera que baje la temperatura. It's going to go down to 17 or more or, or it's going to be less than 17. Yes, teacher. So, okay, is it going to go down to 17? Or is it going to be less than 17? O sea, ¿va a bajar a 17 o va a bajar menos de 17? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, down 17. It's going to go down to 17. Yes, Va a bajar a 17. Uh, so, oh. uh, 14 in, in, in la madrugada. For, 14. 14 in the middle of the night. Wow, okay. Uh, it's in, as in the city. In las partes altas. Very cold. Wow, that's going to be interesting. Well, the, I, the good thing is that when you are able to, when there is this kind of weather, um, then you, at least um, you, you can sleep very nice. It's, it's, you know, very, very nice. Yeah. Yes. So imagine, imagine poor Jenny over there is with 34 degrees. And Leticia is with 14 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. With other, with other uh, city, different city. In, in el mismo país. Yeah, in the same country. Human. And 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 it's not a big country, right? Like it's not like you know they're like for example, you know, imagine like Russia, the biggest country in the world, you know. And you know it's it's so big from one place to the other, but in in you know Salvador it's just like tiny everything, and yet there's so much difference. It's amazing. Sí, yes. Jenny. Yeah, I know. Incredible. Okay, well, everybody, um, I'm glad that um, most people have been able to connect. Um, I, I still see some people connecting. That's great. Welcome to the people that have um, just joined us. We're just talking about here the delicious weather, um, you know, in, in, uh, in Leticia's words, uh, the delicious weather of um, El Salvador right now, right? That And um, even, even Jenny, who, you know, is poor over there, is suffering with 34 degrees, but at least it's better. 34 degrees is better than 38, 40, right? Yes. So that's at least a little bit better. Okay, so anyway, um, all right, I sent you um, some uh, a document for you to uh, work on. Um, I, I think it should have been super easy for you to do it because all you had to do was scroll down and decide, choose one, select one answer, right? I think they gave you like, three answers and you just all you had to do was select one of those three so it shouldn't it shouldn't have been too difficult and it shouldn't have taken you too long right maybe i don't know i would say maybe it took you i don't know 10 minutes five ten minutes probably to do it am i correct like 11 minutes Okay, yeah, so one more minute than the 10. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so what I'm going to ask you to do is um, we're, gonna, we're going to go to their groups, our small little groups, and I want you to um, compare your answers with your classmates. Um, I'm going to give you just about five minutes for you to compare. It shouldn't take you very long. And I'm not, I'm going to go to some groups, not all groups, because I won't have time to be able to, um, to, um, 
you know go to all groups but uh, I do want you to have the opportunity of sharing your ideas with your classmates seeing if maybe you have the same um, answers okay so right now I'm going to get you to work with your groups um, small little groups share your answers in less in about five minutes we'll see, um, see each other back in the main room okay so here we go let me open the rooms right now Hi, Godfredo. Hi, Rebecca. Um, we're going right now. Oh. Hi, Roxana. Roxana, uh Hello. Yes. Did you do the homework? How is the number one? Hi, hello. Sorry. Um no, I didn't do the homework. I don't know what is the homework about. We have uh, three options, but I couldn't mod modify. Uh, sorry. I'm going to tell you the homework. I couldn't uh, edit. Uh -huh. I did the document. OK, so supposed to... nah, the exercise of the document. Oh, the other uh -huh, uh -huh. exercise. So, okay. Quantity. Mm -hmm. Glenda, you couldn't modify the document? Number one. No, I couldn't. Really? Era anti-indio. Era anti-indio el documento. No pude. I couldn't, teacher. But you could see, you could see the options. Uh -huh. When I touch the triangle, uh, sale copy, copy, edit, uh, selection, all selection, uh, New comment. Did you do it on your computer or on your cell phone? On the cell phone? I tried on the cell Maybe phone, but I couldn't why. modify it. Oh. Um. Maybe because it was in the cell phone. Maybe if you try on the computer, it might work. Yeah, me too. I can't modify the document in the cell phone. That is the reason that is the cell phone. Sure. Okay, but can you modify it in the computer, Erlinda? Yes, I think I can, but now I have myself and too. But I can, I think I can answer um, this exercise um, just by thinking. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, because we're only going to, a few more minutes, only about, I'm going to give you guys like two more minutes. So okay. use all the time you can, okay? I'm going to go visit another group. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. 
Eh, yo sabía. Mira. Ok. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Vale, ¿Cómo me estabas diciendo que era? Bueno, yo puse, ya escribí. Uh, there is. There is. Uh, ah, aquí está, ver. There is too much. Esa es the options. Too much. There is too much. Too, there is too, too much. much smoke in here. I can breathe. Yeah. I can breathe. Y yeah. calificación este chunche. Uh, um, I can earn money enough to buy the car. Oh, pero... Option number one, number two, number three. Number three. Number money enough to buy that car. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah. No sería enough money. Yo puse, ah, ajá, yo, sí, I don't earn money, no, I don't earn enough money to buy the car. To buy the car. No, pero. Question number, oh no, uh, sentence number three. My manager says that, that I play. Mm. I think is too much well or or and not well, but I think I I I don't uh, and someone we can we can say well, your opinion. Me suena más too much well. Yes, yes. Sí. but I I don't know. Mm. But I don't know. Too much well, I play too much well to win the competition. Uh, I think it's too much well. Much well. Me too. Okay. Uh -huh. um, okay, I don't know. I talk too much. I, I talk, sure. talk less. Yes, it's right. I think it's right. Yes, yes, uh, the four. Yes, uh, I, I don't think the door. I don't think the door is too much fly to get the sofa in the room. Yes, no, I don't think the door is enough wide. Yes, it's right, and, but I know someone has another option. <gasps> to move, why not? Yes. Yes. Okay. Six. Mm. Yes. Too much. Too to many. Much money, too many money can be too much. Money. I think it's too much, but I don't know. Too much. I did the same. Oh, demasiado dinero puedo ser más. But I know. Or too. Too much. Or too only money. Too. too much. <laughs> Mm, I, I don't know. ¿Cuáles eran las opciones? Many, fewer, and more. more. Many, fewer, and more? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, I think that is many. Many. Porque son páginas y son contadas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other one, there is. Um, ¿Cuáles eran las opciones de esta? Yeah, more. Much. Well. More. Sorry. Much. More. Much. Very. There is more water in Spain well. than in Saudi. 
there is more much, there is much weather in spain than in saudi arabia mm -hmm. can be much is okay what yeah we can in in the other one much much porque la, la, las otras opciones eran more fewer y much Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More because it's entre more and much. Uh -huh. much I don't okay. know because it's too much, but no, it's much. Okay, welcome back everybody. Great. Um, I see that uh, the majority there had opportunity to share their answers. Uh, we are going to be checking the answers together as a class. Okay, so um, let's start there uh, with, um, let me know if you can see the um the word document i can see it sure yes i can see it now yes i can yes, see it sure i can see okay perfect all right so let's do this together so it says adverbs of frequent uh, sorry sorry adverbs of quantity exercises to so select the best way to complete the sentences so um some people were mentioning that it, it didn't give the it didn't give um, the, um, some people the option of modifying um, or editing the document and I was mentioned that it could be if you are trying to do it on the cell phone it may not allow you so this would probably only work on computer so if it didn't allow you to modify it try it on your computer and it'll probably work Okay, so anyways, let's continue here. So we have, there's mm, smoke in here, I can't breathe. And there are the options that we have for this are too, ma too much, too many, and two. What would be the best answer for this one? Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. How many people? Too much. How many people in the clinic? Too much, yes. Too much, and the reason is because smoke. Because the smoke is uncountable. That's correct. Smoke is uncountable, so that's why we have to say too much. Next, number two. Um, I don't earn mm, to buy that car. And that would be, what would be the answer? Enough money, too much money, or money enough? Enough money. Enough, enough money. money. Enough. Enough money. Money enough. <laughs> the answer would be enough money. Okay. Um. So with enough, um, you put the not enough and then the noun. Okay. So, for example, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough. Um, water, I don't have um, enough, um, I don't know, I don't have enough uh, rice, etc, etc. Okay, so the, the, 
the noun would go after. That's the the best answer. Number three, my manager says that I play mm, to win the competition. So the possible answers are enough well, well enough, or too much well. Well enough. In a no. No. Okay, the answer is well enough. And the reason is because uh, I just finished telling you that with, eno with enough, we put the noun after. So enough money, right? But well is not a noun. Well is an adverb. So adverbs go before. So we say well enough, not enough well. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. I see. Yes, teacher. Great. Okay. So now number four. I know I talk, and then possible answers: too much, too many, or enough. Too much. Not too much. Too much. Too much. Correct, because talking is not something that we can count. Right? Okay. Next. I don't think the door is mm, to get the sofa into the into the room. Possible answers are enough wide, wide enough, too much wide. Enough, enough wide. wide. Enough wide. Answer is wide enough. Why enough? Wide enough. And the reason is because just like well, which is an adverb, adjectives like wide also go before enough. Okay? So we say well enough or wide enough. Well enough is an adverb. Or better said, well is an adverb wide is an adjective and they always go before the enough and nouns go after enough does that make sense for everybody yes teacher yes, yes. teacher yes. yes perfect let's move on then yes of course teacher okay next um Class, just a reminder of making sure that uh, when we, um, after that we um, participate and speak, you can go ahead and turn off the microphones, okay? All right, so number six now, we have mm, money can be bad for football players who are still in their 20s, okay? So, if possible answers are too much, Sorry, too money, too many money, or too much money? Too much. Too much. Too much, too much. Too much money. That is correct. The reason is because money is not possible to count. Yes, money is not countable. And somebody's going to go, teacher, but I can say, for example, um, I, I can count money. I can count how much money I have. The thing is that you what you are counting is not money. What you're counting are dollars or bills, right, or coins. But you can't count money. You can't say, I have five monies, right? That's not possible. So remember, money is a non-count noun. And that's why you say too much money, okay? Number seven, I ate something cakes and felt sick later. Two cakes, too many cakes, or too much cake? Too many. Too, too, many. too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. Cake. Good. Cake, if we're just talking cake in general, like for example, I can say, I like to eat um, a lot of cake, for example. In that case, cake is not is uh, non-countable. In that case, we can't count cakes. But in this case, it's very obvious that we're counting the cakes because it has an S. 
So it's plural, so it'd be too many. Okay. Number eight. I can't drink this milk. It's possible answers. Too much. It's too too hot. Too much hot or enough hot. Too much. Too much. Too much. Only two. That's correct. The answer is just it's too hot. Um, and when you're saying too hot means that you're saying you're saying that um, it's more than is necessary. In this case, we're not going to use um, because remember, hot is an adjective. And do you remember what I told you? Um, well, it, well, basically, um, we can't use. So we, if we're going to use too much or too many, we need a noun, not an adjective, okay? That's why hot is, is, um, is uh, preceded by too and not by too much. Because remember, too much is only with, not, with nouns and hot, hot is not a noun. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Clear. Okay, good. Yes. Number nine. I think I've eaten possible answers. Enough. Too many. Too much. I don't feel very well. What would be the possible answer? The answer. Enough. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Uh, and remember that this is um, when you're saying too much, we're talking that uh, it's um, more than necessary. Next. Um, there weren't, oh, sorry. Okay. There we go. Oh, all right. Let me fix that. Okay, here we go. So number ten, there weren't people enough. Enough people. Too much people. They enough match. people. Uh, there, weren't, there weren't people enough to play a match, or there weren't enough people to play a match. What would be the answer? Enough people. people. There were enough, enough, people. Enough, people. Enough, people. enough people. Correct. There weren't enough people. Okay, so remember, remember what I told you before that enough is, uh, we're going to follow, uh, is followed by the noun, right? So enough people. Number 11 is. Oh, Number 11, this book doesn't have as many pages as that one. So it would be as many, as fewer, uh, as more, or I simply don't know. What would be the answer? So many, many, many pages. I many think pages. is more. More. Fewer. Many. <laughs> The answer is many. many this book okay. doesn't have as many pages as that one. Pages we can count, so we're going to say many. Next, number 12. There is mm, water in Spain than in Saudi Arabia. Notice that we're comparing. So, we're comparing the water in Spain with the water more. in Saudi Arabia. More. So, is it more, much, fewer, or I don't know? Much. More. 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 Correct. More. We are comparing, therefore we're going to be using more, more water. And obviously it's not less. It's, sorry, it's not, um, oh, my mistake. Um, it, it's, it can't be fewer. It's impossible to be fewer. Maybe it could be less, but it could, it definitely can't be fewer because fewer is for, 
um, countables and water is not possible to count. Number 13, there aren't as mm, camels in England as in Saudi Arabia. So here we're comparing the camels. So it'd be? Many. Many. Many camels. Many. Correct. As many. Okay. Um, it, when we're using the word as, you're either going to use many or a, as much, but don't use as fewer or as less, okay? Next, I haven't gotten as money as my brother. So possible answers is I haven't gotten as much, as more, as fewer, or much, I don't know. Much, the much money. Much money. Much money. Very good. I haven't got as much money as my brother. Okay, but money again, what I explained, it's non countable, so that's why we're going to use money. 15. They haven't as, they haven't as, mm, balls as their friends. Possible answers is they haven't as more, as many, as fewer, or I don't know, balls as their friends. Fewer. Many. Many, many. Yes, correct. The answer is many because we're comparing balls and balls is, is countable, so we can say many. 16 now. Let's go on to number 16. Um, so we have... Number 15, fewer. he has In that case, homework fewer. than his roommate. Fewer homework, less homework, fewer homework, much homework, I don't know. Much. Much. Less. Yes. The uh, answer is less. He has less homework than his roommate. Remember that we are comparing. The word than means that we're comparing. That's why we're going to be using less. But remember, less and fewer are for comparing. Okay? So that's why we're going to either use less or fewer. But in the between less and fewer, the only possibility is less because homework is impossible to count. Notice we don't say, I have five homeworks. You had to have to say, I have five pieces of homework, okay? Number 17, there are mm, wild animals in the jungle than in the city. Possible answers are many wild animals, more wild animals, much wild animals, or I don't know. Many. More. 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 More will animals. Very good. Um, more. Remember that again, this the then tells me that it's comparing, so we're going to use more. Next, 18. There isn't as possible answers. There isn't as much pollution in the country as in the city. There isn't as less pollution in the country as the city. There is. There isn't as fewer pollution in the country fewer. as in the city, or I don't know. Less. 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 Fewer. Less. Less. The answer is much. And the reason is, yes, we are comparing, but notice that it says here as. When we're using as, the answers are either going to be much or many. As many or as much. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Number 19. There are mm, tourists in Paris and in Lyon. Possible answers are... There are more tourists in Paris and Lyon, much tourists, fewer tourists, 
or I don't know. More, 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 more toys. Yay, very good. Everybody got it correct. Yes, more. Uh, we could say fewer, more or fewer, but to be very honest, I mean, we know that Paris is a very touristic place, so it's obviously going to be more, right? Okay, and 20, the last one. There is mm, daylight in Canada than in Italy. Again, uh, there's comparison there. So yeah. there is less, much, fewer, or I don't know. Less. 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 That is less. 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 Very good. There is less daylight in Canada than in Italy. Again, we are comparing. So only possibilities are less um or fewer but in the case in this case we're, we're comparing daylight and daylight is not countable so that we will use less sounds good everybody okay we're going to stop sharing and okay so that's the answers for our homework teacher yes hi I see the the document in my computer, but the selection is not is not possible. Select the select option is not possible because the it's like an image. You cannot see the options. No, uh, I can share my screen. Sure. A veces no puedes editar en el documento, por eso que no te parece para poder editar. In my case, teacher, I I did the document, I answered it, but I can send because I I don't know how I do the the same about it. Um, the people that were able to edit it, uh, what did you do that was different? Like how, how you were able to open it? Teacher includes the, the number nine, uh, eight and nine is no with the option. No. I'm sorry about that. Vuelvo well, well, a descargar. Y tal vez se le solucione el problema. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Yeah, that, okay. yeah that, that, that's a good option. Try that and, and maybe it helps. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do in the last few minutes, we're going to be learning a little bit about what we call indirect questions. What are indirect questions? These are questions. Well, the word says it. It's indirect, so it's not. It's a. It's you're not asking a direct question, but you're instead you're asking the question indirectly. Now, why would we want to do this? Well, there are a few reasons. Mostly because one, uh, indirect questions are more polite. So, um, if you are talking to somebody that you don't know. Um, you know, it, it may be more polite for them uh, to to address them. And the other re reason is because um, since indirect questions are a little bit more polite or formal, then it, it helps us when we are asking very delicate questions. For example, um, I don't know, imagine, imagine that um, you have um you're you meet a person for the first time and you need for whatever reason you need to know certain information for example where they live now you know in el salvador people don't really like to tell other people where they live right because for security reasons right so um if you're going to ask a person right away oh what is your address they're going to feel like, oh, like, you know, you know, no, no, I, 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 they're not going to feel comfortable with it. So instead, 
But if we need to ask that question, we can ask that question in a more polite way that will make the person feel a little bit more comfortable, okay? And that's what we use indirect questions for. For when you are meeting someone for the first time, you want to be more polite. Or also when you have to ask something that is, you know, maybe a touchy subject and you want to be very sensitive to the person's feelings, okay? So, um, we're going to start explaining there uh, using the whiteboard. So, let me know when you can see the whiteboard. Right now, I can see the whiteboard, teacher. Me too. I can see. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's start. So, like I said, we are going to be learning today about indirect questions. Okay. So, let me start with that. Questions. Okay. Um, so, uh, to understand indirect questions, I'm going to first um, give you direct questions, okay? So, these are normal, regular questions that you would probably ask somebody, okay? Uh, for example, maybe you can ask the person is, um, are you married? Probably not a question you would ask somebody the first time you you meet them. You don't go around and say, oh, are you married, right? Um, you know, or do you have children, right? Um, do you have children? You don't go around asking these questions, you know, all of a sudden, right? Um, for Or for example, um, if you're asking, um, or um, how much are you weighing these days? How much are you weighing these days? ¿Cuánto estás pesando en estos días? You don't go around asking those questions, right? It would be very rude for us to go around asking those questions to somebody that, you know, even probably to our friends, we wouldn't ask this question, you know, go around asking this question. So instead, we want to ask these questions in a more polite way. Also, not only questions that are like sensitive topics or being rude, sometimes we just want to ask a stranger a question and um, we need some information and we want to be polite to them. So y you could ask, for example, what time is it? Uh, what time is it? What time is it? Okay. Um, or um, have you seen um, this lady? Oh, no, no, better said. Have you, um, have you, no, um, have you, yeah, um, have you seen, uh, this lady before, let's say. Have you seen this lady before? Okay, so those are very direct questions, right? Very, very direct questions. Now, in these questions, um, what we're going to try to do, these are these are direct questions, they're not indirect questions, these are direct, okay? And what we want to do is we want to change these questions to indirect questions. How do we do that? Well, we do this by basically adding what we do is we add a question um a question form okay or visit a uh this is mm, let, let me 
let's say that this is the um, the indirect question beginning. Okay. Actually, I'm going to change the color. Let me change the color. In indirect question question beginning okay and after that after we have that we're going to One second. Just give me one second here. here. Okay. Um, so we have the indirect question beginning, uh, and then we're going to be adding the question word. Okay. We're going to change the color here. I'm going to make it color question word. After the question word, we're going to be having um, the subject. Okay. And after the subject, we're going to have the verb. I'm going to put the verb If you think that it's necessary, then we could have a complement. Okay. Let's make this complement. <gasps> oh my! What did I just do? <gasps> okay, there we go. Okay, sorry, I I started freaking out. Okay, um, Okay. so, so far so good? Does this make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Okay, and of course, since it is a, it is a question, then we're going to put the question mark at the end. Okay, so basically that's how it's going to work. Um, just so that you understand this a little bit better. So we have indirect question. Oh, sorry. Um, just give me a moment. Okay, so um, so we're always going to have the indirect question beginning. The question word comes after the subject, whatever the subject is. Then comes the verb, and then the complement. Okay, that's our structure, and let's make that's make this into a box here. Okay, so that's how we're going to do it. Now, what is the indirect question beginning? That's what we really, this is the part that is new. Okay, so what the indirect question beginnings are the following. Okay, I'm going to give them to you at this moment. So, um, so we have the indirect question beginnings could be um, they could be we can start with um, could you sorry can you tell me oh, sorry can you 
tell me okay that's one question beginning okay and the passive can is could could you tell me okay. or we can say do you know And so on so those are the question beginnings that we can have and then after that comes the rest of it, the question word so like a who where what when etc etc okay um, for example it, so we can say why when how who where uh, where etc etc I'm not gonna write all of them I'm just gonna write some of ideas right and then subjects you know there are different subjects I you he she it we my brother my sister my best friend um, we etc etc then we have the verb and the complement so how are we going to change are you married well it's gonna be simple now I can choose which um, which question beginning I want it doesn't have to be um, a specific question beginning so I'm just gonna choose can you tell me so we're gonna say can you tell me and then we're gonna follow this the question word now in this case we have no question word right because we don't have the how her whatever so in this case what's what is gonna happen is instead of using um, a question word we're gonna be using the word if okay so that's um, move this up a little bit so I can put the word if in there okay so those are possible answers there with if so in this case I'm going to continue I'm going to start because are you married is a yes or no question it is not an uh, information question so we're going to say if can you tell me if, and then they have the subject. The subject is you, right? So if you, and the verb, the verb would be are, right? If you are, and then the complement would be married. Okay, so question, can you tell me if you are married? Okay, next question over here. Um, again, I'm just going to start with whichever question, uh, direct question beginning so I'm gonna now use can I'm oh, sorry could so could could you tell me again there is this is a yes or no question so I'm gonna say if so could you tell me if you because the subject is you okay um, so sorry the the subject is you right so if you could you tell me if you and then in this case the verb is have okay so we're going to say have and the complement children right if you have children now notice that in this case the oops, children okay notice that in this case i do not use the word do the do the auxiliary disappears notice in this structure there is no auxiliary so in this case um we just use have no do Okay, next one, I'm now going to choose the next one, which is, do you know? Do you know? And then we're gonna question word. In this case, there is a question word. The question is, is how much? So how much? The subject is you, how much you? And then the verb, the verb in this case is, are weighing. So are weighing. And then complement these days. So do you know how much you are weighing these days? Okay. These days. Okay, next. Um, what time is it? Can you tell me? Uh, again, I'm just choosing anyone. Can you tell me? And then we have the question word. The question word in this case is how is what can you tell me what and then subject is time right 
Oh no, sorry. What time is a, a question word? And um, here we have the the subject, uh, and the subject is it in this case, it. And then the complex, the verb is is, right? So notice in this case the um, the the verb is is at the end. It's after. It's not before. It's after. So this one is is it, and this one is it is. And then here there's no complement, so you don't need to put it. And finally, the last one is, have you seen this lady before? So you can say, could you tell me? And again, in this one, there is no, uh, there is no question word. It's a yes or no answer. Therefore, we're going to be using if. Okay. So again, could you tell me if sub um, subject you, right? Verb have seen. And the complement, this lady before. And there you go. That is our indirect questions. So does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, that's okay guys well we have come to the end of our class so we're going to stop there today um, you can review the information in the video um, you know after, it will be um, up by tomorrow so you can review it and in the meantime what I'm gonna ask you to do is write down 10 questions, direct questions, okay? Not indirect questions, but direct questions, 10 questions, and that's it. You're, all you're gonna do is write the 10 questions, and then tomorrow we're gonna be practicing changing, okay? So that will be every, everything, guys. Take care, it's been a pleasure seeing you guys again, and um, enjoy your uh, nice, uh, enjoy your, um, your nice weather, in this in for today right okay um and sleep tight <laughs> all right guys take care bye bye teacher thank you so bye, much. Teacher. Bye, bye teacher bye teacher bye bye, bye. bye. bye.